Three U.S. servicemen, their U.S. troops were killed more than 30 injured in a drone attack in Jordan last night. Sky News, CO, um, AU. Three U.S. servicemen have been killed and at least 34 others injured in a drone attack on an army base near the Jordan-Syrian border. President Joe Biden says the U.S. will hold those Australian news guy, I think. Account. Martha Kellner has more. This drone strike impacted a tent of sleeping troops at a place called Tower 2022, sorry, uh, which is a US outpost on the Syria Jordan border. It's not clear why air defences failed to intercept this drone, but it is uh, the first known direct attack um, on this particular um, location. It's also the first time uh, that US forces have been killed in the Middle East since the Gaza war began. It's clearly already a precarious situation over there, but this is a very obvious escalation. And I think the seriousness, seriousness of this situation uh, is reflected in the words from the White House today. Uh, we have a statement <coughs> from President Biden. Uh, he said, America's heart is heavy. Last night, three U.S. service members were killed and many wounded during an unmanned aerial drone attack on our forces stationed in northeast Jordan near the Syria border. While we're still gathering the facts of this attack, we know it was carried out by radical Iran-backed militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq. The three American service members we lost were patriots in the highest sense. And, and the Syria and Iraq war come back, I wonder. be forgotten by our nation. We'll carry on their commitment to fight terrorism and have no doubt we will hold all those responsible to account at a time and in a manner of our choosing. Uh, since October, Iran proxies have launched 158 attacks on US, US attacks. and allied forces in the Middle East. Most of those are characterised by officials as being unsuccessful um, because they've resulted in either uh, limited damage to infrastructure uh, and limited minor injuries. This situation, though, is clearly very different and it's been treated in that way by President Biden and the White House. Well, there we go, guys. It goes to those gentlemen. Will that escalate, you think? Anyway, I better go. Thank you for joining me. See you next one. Peace. Take it easy.